Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. It's raining. Another Cold. wet and wonderful episode. Today we're talking about the Z-Man Ticklers, which is a really neat little finesse bait, but we're gonna rig it a little bit differently. We're gonna Nico rig it. Is it Nico or Neko? I've always wondered. Who knows? Please comment and It's all coming try. up. Yeah. So here we are, fishing the ticklers, Nico style. I'm just throwing it up in the current, letting it drift down here. There's a little bit of current. We're in about eight, four to eight feet of water. I got a real small size. I'm gonna show you how I rig it. But I'm using a seven foot medium light rod. Eric's getting his rigged up right now. Let's we'll see if we can catch a couple fish on it. Just gives it a real unique look because a lot of people just use a standard, you know, net rig head, which it works great. But this just gives those fish a little bit different look. Ready? Okay. This is a Z-Man Ned Heads. So we're, we're Nico, Neko rigging. And you see how it's got a little keeper there? It's really tough to get into the Z-Man plastic, but once you do, it won't come out. So basically you want to shoot straight in and then you just got to work it. That that actually went in a whole lot easier than I've ever had it do. The hardest part's right at the end. Yep. And then you get it tight against the plastic. And you need to be straight. That's the key. So you want to try to get in one shot. I think I'm almost there. Almost there. I turn mine a little sometimes if I can. I think I'm, I'm I'm pretty much dead head against the head. So you could use a little super glue, but you know what? I don't think it's necessary. Now, a lot of guys with a Nico will use a ring, you know, a wacky ring. And what I had there was really odd. The fish had it, and I, I set the hook, and it pulled off. But if you put a wacky ring on this, you might keep your plastic on. Certainly without Z-Man plastic, you want to use a wacky ring. And really, I'm hooking it you know, about a third of the way up of the bait, a third of the way up. And you want the hook point up. I think it's really critical. A lot of people get confused and it keeps it more weedless. So you want to hook it from the bottom to the top of the bait. And just grab a little meat, come through. And Z-Man is usually pretty tough, but that fish took it and stole it from me. So there you go, man, hook point up. And this is just a drop shot hook. There you go. And so it presents the bait. This bait falls directly down and then it kind of bounces along the bottom like that. So versus a Ned, which is, you know, pulling and dragging, this just has a different look and presentation to it. I saw Travis out deep, he knew. Got him, nice. Yeah. Oh! That is a giant dude. I gotta go back here, boys. Nice. There we go. Nice one, Travis. Nice fatty. And my bait's still there, just up above. We'll take them. Well, Eric hooks up on the Z-Man Ticklers. No, look at that. And and that. These fish are just extraordinary, man. Now, what rod are you using? I'm using the NRX. I'll give you the number in a second. And a Shimano Sustain 3000 10 pound Power Pro. And Travis was generous enough to hook me up with a leader this morning. I don't tie an FG knot. I think it's the uh, Alberto. And let's see where this fish is hooked. It should be right in the roof of the mouth, and it is. And is my Nico still there? I'm shocked. It's gone. We gotta figure out a way to keep the Nico. I think I might have a wacky tool with me, Travis. I'd like to try it just to see. Okay. To conserve weights, you know, it'd be a good test for this film. There you go. Nice, dude. That's a good quality. That's a good fit. quality start right there, right in the roof of the mouth. Travis, what size drop shot? Is this a number size one? Size one. Size one, guys. Gamakatsu split shot drop shot. I got to tell you that that hook's got tremendous holding power, and what a beautiful fish, man. Great way to start the day. 
Nico rigging. Finicky tickler. All right, let's let her go. Thank you for that. So guys, everybody knows about wacky tools. So this is one style, obviously, for your Senko. I've put one on, but then there's a different style, which is a clear wacky band. Tackle Craft makes it. And this is, weirdly enough, a medical device. It's a vein spreader. Yes, that's what it's used for. So you have these clear bands. You just pop it on, right? You close it up so you don't spill all your bands on the carpet. I've been there and done that. Well, and then if you're putting it on it the base, was basically starting to downpour. Our equipment got soaked, so I had to uh, redo this video here, Eric or at least was part of it. About how to rig these these ticklers for Nico rigging. So we fished it with without these rings, okay? And it'll work because especially with the Z-Man, their plastic's very durable. You can put a hook in there, but if, but if you just feel like you're losing too many baits and it's not working out, uh, I like to use this tool that, that Eric was explaining right here on the bait. So you can see you have a band. This is a clear band. They come in different colors. I, I like clear just because it'll blend in a little bit with the color of the plastic. And then you can just put that hook through there and you're not going to have any you, you, your bait will stay on a little bit better with those rings. So it's it's a really neat system. Uh, Tackle Craft sells this tool as well as the bands for it. And that'll work on a variety of different plastics. It's just really efficient way of fishing. A Nico rig's a really unique way to present a piece of plastic to those fish. Gives them a different look. It works great out here on the Chesapeake Bay. It's gonna work anywhere in the country when you're finesse finesse fish in a plastic, uh, that technique's going to work for you. Uh, you know, Z-Man, Z-Man makes weights that are designed to go right into their plastics. Uh, a little nail weight works as well, just a little finishing nail. I do that a lot. Uh, so there's a variety of different weights to use. So I wish we could have continued to show all the video, but in that downpour, things just, uh, it was a cold day. We caught a lot of fish though so much fun fortunately i'm actually going to be heading to uh was in a couple weeks for a couple weeks hopefully we'll get some good content i know it's cold there you know i think all the leaves have fall off the trees already up up there it's it's in the 30s you know here today we're in the mid 60s uh these fish are still uh they're not yet in their fall feeding mode won't be long definitely won't be long well, there you go. The TRD ticklers, Nico rigged, fishing just on a normal Ned rig. Man, these things work. I've made videos about these in the past. Just a cool little finesse, finesse bait. So if you're a serious smallmouth fisherman or you need to get real, real finessey with your plastics on largemouth, you got to pick up some of these and give them a try if you haven't already. Try rigging it, Nico. Try it on a Ned head. Experiment. Fish it around any type of structure, any rock, any wood, any grass edges sand spots i mean wherever you think there's a fish throw out these baits uh rig that way so i think you'll be impressed with what these baits can do as far as putting more fish in the boat for you don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that bell notification let you know every time we put a new video out crushing as always until next time we'll see you guys on the water